ships, planes, trucks and trains. Every year they are used to take more than 20 million consignments of radioactive material to destinations all over the world. Places where it is urgently needed. For generating power, for diagnostic and therapeutic uses in medicine, in industry, research, manufacturing, agriculture, minerals exploration and in and around our homes. Radioactive material makes our lives easier, better, safer and healthier. The movement of radioactive material has an excellent safety record. That's because of the care taken by those sending the packages, the carriers delivering them, the package recipients and the stringent regulation provided both at the global level by the International Atomic Energy Agency and nationally by member states. This is one of a series of short films produced by the IAEA about the essential aspects of the safe transport of radioactive material. This one's about road transport. To transport radioactive material around the world, we have the obvious choices. Air, sea and land. In fact, land, and we commonly refer to that as road transport, and most commonly used mode of transport is road transport. Of the millions of consignments of radioactive material shipped every year, most are moved by road, and few of them are highly radioactive. All are closely controlled, and all are fully documented. All means of the transport of radioactive material, including of course by road, are tightly regulated to protect people and the environment from radiation. This is achieved principally by means of packaging, the different types of which have been designed in accordance with member states' national regulations and to be appropriate for the level of hazard posed by the material being shipped. There are strict limits on radiation levels. This packaging prevents the material from leaking, controls the level of external radiation, prevents criticality and prevents the damage caused by heat. As it's impossible to prevent accidents, the packaging, especially for highly radioactive material, is designed to withstand severe impacts, immersion in water and high temperature fire. It is also tested. The consignments have to be properly secured within the vehicles. Normally, the vehicles are sealed. Vehicles transporting radioactive materials have to carry clear warning signage, indicating the level of danger they pose. The routes followed have to be chosen to minimize the exposure of the public to radioactivity. The drivers fully appreciate the hazardous nature of their loads and execute several important checks along the route. They're aware of their responsibilities both to themselves and the public and know what to do in the event of an emergency or accident. Some consignments are routinely escorted and remotely tracked. And on arriving at their destinations, the consignments are checked again. Uh, these rules and regulations are put into place to make sure that it is done in a safe manner. Uh, the processes that are used to transport are inspected to make sure that they're done appropriately. There is a paper trail, there is tracking of the items as they're moving. For some, this is the end of the journey. For others, the journey continues using other means of transport. For all, the trip has been safely and securely accomplished. And sooner or later, these radioactive materials will be put to good use. To find out more about the safe transport of radioactive material, visit our website at goto.iaea.org forward slash transport safety. It's also worth looking at the nine companion films in this series. Together, they're a great introduction to the hows, whys and wherefores of the transport of these vital goods. Thank you.